Hello everybody, welcome back, youtube.com slash geekland for another Let's Install, and today we're doing the big brother to Hotline Miami, and that is Hotline Miami 2. Let's jump on into the store, whoops, go over to the search and enter Hotline Miami, and of course it'll be up very quickly, I think HOTL is all we need to do, look at that. Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, free PS5 upgrade available. If you purchased it on the PS4 previously, at no additional charge, you can go ahead, claim the free upgrade, and then we will go ahead and download the PS5 version. Now, there was no save game in for the, for the PS4 version, but we will check out the PS5 version uh, today when it's added. Speaking of added, it looks like it's going to come in nice and quick. Oh yes, I can tell you Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, free PS5 upgrade, is a mere 727.3 megabytes. An absolutely tiny install for an absolutely massive game. I love the Hotline Miami franchise or series. My hope, wild speculation, is that the reason they've done the upgrades to Hotline Miami 1 and 2 is because I'm totally unannounced and pure speculation by myself, but how good would it be if, you know, in the sort of near future, there was Hotline Miami 3 stealth dropped. That would be amazing. Fingers crossed. That's why I wanted to have suddenly appeared on the store. As I said, if you already own it on the PlayStation 4, absolutely free upgrade for the PlayStation 5. They're a fantastic game. If you haven't played either of them and you like your sort of top-down twin-stick shooters, this game is you down to the ground. Of course, uh, crass, crude humour. Not one for the younger kids, but an absolutely fantastic twin-stick shooter. Very brutal. I uh, find it very enjoyable. Of course, once we boot it up, we'll go into the settings. We'll see what's available there. Um, as we did with the uh, Hotline Miami 1 install, uh, which is the previous video on the channel, not a whole lot to look at there, but they are both available. Uh, uh, from a setting standpoint in the first one, oh, look at this, English off the top. This game contains scenes. Uh, would you like to skip those scenes? No, thanks. I'll uh, take it in its full glory. All right, here we go, pause. Now, if we hit eject, I hope this will take us back to the main menu. Look at that, and then options. Let's see what kind of settings we have available. Content, skip it off. Controls, control scheme. Ah, look at this, a proper button map. This isn't available in number one, but good to see it's there on number two. Uh, movement, analog, what are our other options, I wonder? Digital or analog? I wonder if that's to do with left stick or the uh, D-pad, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, light bar, speaker, and vibration. I'll leave all those as defaults. They look fine. Uh, audio, music, and sound effects. Language, English. I think that is all the settings that Hotline Miami 2, wrong number, has available. I wonder what they'd call Hotline Miami 3. Something to do with mobile phones? At a wild guess? I'm not sure. Spam caller, maybe. Hotline Miami 3, spam call. All right, let's pull up the information now and see what we have on the uh, three-day-old, just recently released to the PlayStation 5. Hotline Miami 2 is currently version 1.000.001, and that is a full and complete install size of 764.8 megabytes. Thank you very much for watching another Let's Install here on Geek Loud. Please do check out our video game podcast, The Gaming Enforcement Agency. What else could you do with the channel? Like it, subscribe it, you'll never miss it.